Well, here in Japan, New York, this is just a quiet neighborhood, and neighbors are shocked to hear this news come out about their own neighbor, Paul Rosenfeld. This is his home, and this is where federal prosecutors say between August and October, he was building a 200-pound bomb in the basement. The shades here are drawn. There's pumpkins on the steps. Just a normal suburban neighborhood. The FBI says he planned on blowing himself up and others on the National Mall with that bomb in Washington, D.C. on Election Day, November 6. Prosecutors say he wanted to draw attention to an alternate political theory called sortition, which believes government officials should be chosen at random. The 56-year-old ordered black powder online and had it shipped to New Jersey. He drove eight pounds of that black powder to his New York base that's where he built the bomb out of a plywood box, filling it with the powder. Other components were added to ensure that the bomb would kill him when it exploded. Prosecutors say it appeared the bomb was functional, and Rosen Rosenfeld treated his basement like a bomb factory. He conducted tests using smaller bombs. Uh, we spoke to neighbors, and we also spoke to Ed, the mailman, who's been delivering mail on this route for the last eight years. I never suspected that there would be a bomb inside this house. I would have never suspected a house, a normal place like this on a quiet street would be the, you know, home of a mad scientist. <laughs> Rosenfeld was caught, Dano, because a person was receiving letters and text messages from Rosenfeld. That person says that they did not have any idea who Rosenfeld was, but that he was sending them details about this plan that he was uh, wanting to enact on November 6th. Uh, he now faces up to 20 years in prison for transporting and building this bomb. Dana. Yeah, well, thanks. Thank goodness they caught him beforehand. Thank you, Brian.